Get excited because in this video, we're actually going to get to query some data. So remember in our config, we set the type name to documentation. We're going to use that in a second. So let's say gridsum develop. And so what this does is this is actually creating a documentation type that we can then query. So basically it sort of acts as a channel between all of the docs that we have here and our view components. I'll show you what I mean. Now you'll notice here that we've got explore GraphQL data. So if we control click here, this opens up a page where we can start playing around with our data. And I'm just gonna get rid of that. Otherwise you can cheat. So the first thing we're gonna do is say query documentation. So what this is doing is it's saying, hey, I wanna jump into the documentation that view remark has made for me. Okay, so we're going to jump in there and we're going to pull out all documentation. Okay, so it's automatically created this query that allows us to have access to all of the documentation. And what we can do is we can actually assign this an alias. So we can say, for example, docs, and now in our view components, we'll be able to identify it as docs. Okay, so now we're going to say edges, and inside edges, we're going to say node, now this part can be a little bit complicated for newcomers. If you don't understand what that means, I highly recommend just doing a quick Google on edges, nodes, and connections so that you understand what this edges, node stuff is about. It's very necessary, um, but I'm not gonna go into it in this video, okay? So basically what it's done is this has given us uh, one of the documentations that we've created. So one of the, the doc pages. And now we can say, all right, I wanna get the title out of that and I want to get the path to where that belongs, okay? And the path is automatically generated. So this is gonna be like a link that we can use. So let's execute that. And there's the docs that we created in the previous video. So we've got the introduction, there's the path to it, and we've got the title. All right, so I'm gonna copy this query here, jump back into code. And now if we go into pages, index.view, we can actually add that query to this page, I'll show you what I mean. So if we say page dash query, and I'm not gonna have any syntax highlighting here. So sorry about that, but that's all right, because we're just gonna paste all of that straight into there. And what this means is we can do stuff like this, all right, check this out. I'm going to create a div, and we're going to say v dash four, is equal to dollar sign page. So basically that's grabbing all of the stuff that's attached to this page. And what this query does is it puts all of the docs inside of this page variable. All right, so now we can say page dot docs dot edges. Okay, and let's set this to edge. And then we're going to set the key. And the key will be equal to the edge dot node dot id and just to see if this is working let's spit out edge dot node dot title oh i need to control click this and there we go it's spitting out all of the titles so apart from this whole edges and nodes thing which you may not understand if you're new to graphql apart from that this is actually pretty ridiculously straightforward so check this out We've also got something called g-link. And basically that gives us a little bit of performance. So it's like a grid some component that gives us performance on this link by doing some prefetching. And now I can say two is equal to edge, oh, edge dot node dot path. And that's going to give us a link to the path of that doc. So let's save that, refresh the page. Oh, looks like I've done something wrong. Ah, oh, we need to have some text in here. So let's just put in edge.node.title. And there we go. How cool is that? Now if we click on introduction, it takes us to the intro. And if we click on my docs index, it takes you there. Oh, and you know what? I should probably prove to you that this is actually markdown. So let's jump into index turn that into a heading, maybe add some list items, one, uh, two, something like that. 
Uh, here we go. So yes, this is actually Markdown that we're working with. So hopefully you enjoyed this video, guys. I'm really excited about this stuff, as you can tell. I think Gridsum makes things really, really easy. And as I said before, if you don't understand what's going on here with these uh, edges and nodes, and by the way, I had experience with GraphQL and still didn't know what edges and nodes were because I'd never sort of messed around with it. I highly recommend just doing a little bit of Googling, figuring out what it's all about because it will make your journey into Gridsum a lot easier. All right, hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. See you in the next video where we'll dive a little bit deeper.